Hi, this is Steve from All In Mobile Wine Pump. We're here today to talk about our new premium bottle filler. It's been out for a little bit, but this is our first opportunity that I actually had to make a video on this. We're going to do a little talk about it. We're going to show you the little tips and tricks and how to actually assemble it and how to use it properly. So here it is right here. Uh, it's, it's being held up all by its own. This has a tapered cork on it. We taper the cork better so it can be hands-free operation other than pushing the button for the vacuum release, which we'll get, get into later. As you notice, it's stainless steel on the bottom. It's got a little kick to it, so it, when it's filling, it rides along the side of the bottle to stop any kind of agitation of wine and foaming. The foaming indication is sometimes either by agitation of wine or by filling it too fast. If it is filling too fast, we want to be able to go over here on the wine pump itself and to be able to open up the precision vacuum valve about two and a half turns. That valve, what it does is be able to speed up, slow down, whatever we want to do with the wine itself when it comes to operation of the, of the speed of the wine. So the faster the wine going in the bottle, the more agitation, the more bubbles we may see at the very top. It takes approximately 15 to 20 seconds per bottle, uh, all depending on the user. This is fully adjustable, so we can move this up or down to whatever height you want. Typically, all the way, all the way down to the shoulder and all the way up to the hot, all the way up to as high as you want. Typically, from from us, we typically set the eulage about a finger, okay, uh, an index finger. So it's typically about between half and three quarters of an inch for eulage. It makes it really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to take the carboy. The carboy always has to go on the floor at all times. And I'll explain why in a minute. The carboy always has to be lower than the bottling height. Otherwise it will not work and you will have a mess. So I got some water that we just heated up in the microwave. And we have two sets of hoses. The same hoses that typically is used on the all-in wine pump which is a 5 16 by half inch. And we're going to hold it down in the water just to heat it up a little bit. It just makes the life a little bit easier by putting this stuff on. First we're going to put it on a racking cane. Slide it over. And now on the wine bottle filler. It only needs to go on between three eighths and a half an inch. It doesn't have to go on very much. And now we got the quarter inch line. We do the same thing that goes on to the barb in the top. I personally like taking a couple little tie straps and tying the two hoses together. This just gives me the ability to just to be able to keep everything together and it just makes it a little bit more nicer to work with. Okay, we're gonna plug it into the into our vacuum pump. And we're gonna open the precision valve about two, at least two turns, and then we can adjust it from there. Clip off our little excess. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to sanitize all of our bottle, our, our equipment. So we have some SO2 available. We're going to stick our rack and can inside. I'm going to talk a little bit about plastic milk crates. There are 16 bottles that fill in this, this plastic milk crate, really nice and tight. As you can see, they're really nice and tight in there. They don't move around much. I'm using brown bottles because they're hard to see when you're, when you're filling them. So with these little drop-in lights from Amazon, they work really good. We're just going to turn them on and drop them in, and we can do the first row a lot easier. And when we're done, we can just move them to the next row. So how this works is we're just going to hold it in. As soon as we hold it in, it's automatically going to start pulling in sulfite right away. Now, it starts leaking a little bit right here, starts pulling a lot of air. If we just pinch it right there, that will stop that from happening.
Okay, we're gonna release it, pull it out, get all the additional sulfite out of here. Put our racking cane down into the carboy. And we'll just put the close of the additional sulfite. And now we're ready to bottle. Literally that simple. I do have a, a rubber band that I like using to just tie it right in the milk crate itself. Just tie it around, around each other and it'll hold this line a lot easier from falling down and pulling on the wine pump filler. It's almost to going to the top. Once it gets almost to the top, we're going to push and we're going to hold and it's going to come down automatically. Every bottle is going to be the same exact height. The nice thing about this is this bottle right here is clean. There is no residue. There's no dripping. Every single time, the same exact eulage, every single one going through and through. Now we can have opportunity to be able to speed it up or we can slow it down. I just speed it up a little bit, as you can see. So it's going up a little bit. Push and hold the vacuum release. While I'm pushing it, I'm going to lift up on it. Now I can release the vacuum release. And I bring it to the next bottle, and as soon as it makes contact, it's automatically going to start filling. So we keep going. I'm really impressed with this milk crate, how well it works for us. So, in order to slow it down, I can just hit the vacuum release once, and there it goes. Oh, hit the vacuum release, and that's it. So, we were able to do a whole bunch of bottles this weekend. I'm very happy with all the progress that we were able to make. We, we did multiple cases. I think we did approximately 13 cases of wine this weekend. And we used this, we used a wine, premium wine bottle filler. As you can see right now, all the eulages on all the wine bottles, no matter what type of bottle it is, no matter the height difference of the bottle, as you can see right now, all the eulages are all the same. Okay, happy winemaking, and I'll see you guys later on. See you. Bye.